What is up everybody, I'm your Legend Director Commander, and welcome back to Space Adventures. In this video, we're going to talk about rifles like the one in my hand here, and which one is the actual king of rifles? Now this may sound pretty straightforward. Obviously, the Elite Rifle is the most bestest rifle ever invented, or maybe it's the Rapid Assault Rifle, with its more rounds down range. Maybe you're like me, and like the Precision Rifle. But what if I were to tell you everything you knew about these rifles was wrong if you're playing a modded game? You think there's one mag for each rifle? No, there's two mags for each rifle. One of those mags is a modded mag, or not necessarily a modded mag, but the good old fashioned 556 five, ammunition you used to use before the update with the rifles. Now in a vanilla game, you might find this mag in a cargo ship if you get lucky, rather than the standard mags that you have to build, because you can't build this mag in the assembler. I tried, but when you're playing modded, this mag is generally called for. But let's get on to some testing here. So we're going to start with our MR-20 rifle, the basic rifle you get. And i got to say, I do like this rifle. But check this out when I test this rifle. One shot to each of these blocks, just to make sure it's consistent. And when I walk up, you'll see everything takes a 2% damage. But we continue on, and we pull out the precision rifle instead. The MR-8P only carries 8 rounds in its mag. And, well, when I shoot these, I get 3% damage on the blocks. Next, we go to the Rapid Assault Rifle. One, two, three. Two percent damage. However, these numbers are a little not true yet, and you'll find out later. This rifle, the Elite Rifle, is a little harder to shoot. Getting a single shot burst out of this rifle is very, very difficult, but I can tell you it does two percent per shot, or at least for the most part. Now we're going to go back to these rifles again and do some more testing. This time we're going to remove a steel plate. I'm going to put a round into it, check it, put a round into it, check it, and put a round into it, and check it every single time. That's the goal. Two shots. We see the percentage damage is dropping, but by the third shot, you can see a steel plate has been removed at 94%. Moving on to the precision rifle, we hit the red target. One shot, 3%. One more shot, and 3%. Taking a total number of two shots to do the same job the previous one did with three. So the precision rifle actually definitely hits harder than every other rifle here. Now we go to the rapid assault rifle, we do a shot, take another shot, we check it, we're, wait, 97%? And then 95%. Three rounds only did 5%, which means the rapid assault rifle hits a lot lighter. Now we move on to the Elite Rifle, 2%. And there's the other two shots, 94%, very similar to the MR-20. Now, given that each rifle carries a different amount of ammunition, the MR-20 carries 20 rounds, the MR-8, the Precision Rifle carries eight, the Rapid Assault Rifle is 50, and the Elite Rifle is 30, it makes sense in a way to balance all these rifles and make them relatively equal that, well, less rounds means more damage, more rounds means less damage but you'd think the Elite would be better than the standard MR-20. And you might be surprised. We're gonna actually destroy this block this time. Watch what happens. So I'm gonna empty this mag, make sure every round hits, and when we get done, we're gonna go check out the block. And you can see we are at 64%. Not exactly 50% damage, but not bad, pretty close to it. How many more rounds is it gonna take though? Keep firing. Next mag gone, what's the percentage at now? 28%, all right. How many more rounds is it gonna take? Put two mags in. All right, this is mag three. given some testing I start to slow down here actually because I know that's when it's gonna go it takes 56 rounds or two and four fifths of a mag to break a block with the MR20 but what about the precision rifle the precision rifle hits harder right how many rounds it gonna take this one's gonna surprise you so we load a fresh mag in just to make sure and eight rounds in Let's look at the armor on it, 76%, which it makes sense. A little low, but actually it's fairly high given the fact that this does more damage. You get an extra percent damage per hit. Emptying the second mag. Doesn't take long to go through these mags. 
and I just keep going because why do we need to check this every time? We know we're gonna get about 24% damage per mag. As you can see, we're at 30% with three mags out. Mag four should have it almost broken at this point. And just watch this, two, three shots and it's gone. 35 rounds. Now we're gonna move on to the rapid assault rifle. We grab our rifle and get a closer that will be definitely don't miss and just unload because that's how this gun is meant to be fired, which that way you get the rate of fire out. But 50 rounds in, 50, and we're only at 28% health. So we put another new mag in, continue on our way. I start slowing down just to make sure we count the exact number of rounds you need. And it's another 20 rounds. You need 70 rounds from a rapid assault rifle to take something out. Granted, it fires faster, but I think I'd almost be better off with the Precision or the MR20 at this point. But hold up, let's test the Elite Rifle because the Elite Rifle is supposed to be, you know, the best rifle ever made in the game. So let's try it out. Uh, the block below it is at 94%, this one is at 100. And we're gonna do pretty much the same, unload because it is capable of triple fire. So we're gonna unload into the block quickly. One mag in, and we're just gonna keep going. How much more is this gonna take? We've already fired one mag, 30 rounds. We're in the second mag, 10 rounds left in the mag. It's not dead yet. Okay, so the MR20 would be almost ready to kill this. The MR20 would have killed it now. It took the entire mag. The elite rifle takes more rounds than the MR20 to destroy that block. And I've done this test a couple times. This is just the one you all are seeing. So when it comes down to it, the Elite Rifle actually does less damage than the basic rifle that you can build sooner than any other rifle. And the Precision Rifle does more damage than all the other rifles. Now, why does all this matter? Well, in the terms of vanilla, it might not matter unless you can get a hold of that other mag I was talking about. Because let's swap to that other mag. And this is where it starts to also matter for those people who are playing modded because you will be finding this mag floating around if you have a cert or cargo ships using these mags. So just came back through to touch everything up. It's gonna be a bit of a speed round here, but each one of these are running the 30 round mag now, the standard 5.56 NATO rounds. And you can see the MR20 running its first mag through, running into its second mag. It's gonna get this done pretty quick. It's still gonna do it in 56 rounds, with one less reload. Real quickly, the Elite Rifle, not looking as good anymore. Precision Rifle, eight rounds in a mag normally, now 30. It took 35 rounds to break this block. It's still gonna take me 35 rounds, but instead of five reloads, only one reload. Rapid Assault Rifle, only 50 rounds in a mag. This one's actually gonna take three mags to do it. So unfortunately in this case, it gets a little bit more punished because in order to fire the 70 rounds it needs to break this block, it has to reload twice. And then finally we move on to the elite rifle. Nothing really changes with this rifle. And we go ahead and as we shoot this, two whole mags exactly. So if you're running with a modded server with modded equipment, modded cargo ships in, you wanna run an MR20 or a precision rifle. These are gonna be far superior given the fact that their mags don't have to be reloaded. If you're gonna run an elite rifle, you might as well just use the 5.56 NATO round anyway, but why put all the resources into the elite rifle when you could just have the MR20, unless you just want that holoscope and the rate of fire for that matter. Then we move on to the Rapid Assault Rifle. 
unless you just want a lot of rounds downrange and you are building the standard mag, the rapid assault rifle is going to suffer due to the fact of the lack of ammunition. So now this last part is a quick and formal test. And you saw me fire the MR20. Now we're going to go ahead and set up a block and shoot the precision rifle. And then we have to do the rest of them as well. But here's the precision rifle when it shoots a small grid block. You can see the small grid block is down to like 28%. Meanwhile, this one that got hit by the MR-20 is at 55%. I go ahead and shoot one with the Elite Rifle instead. And then I go ahead and shoot the other one with the Rapid Assault Rifle. Unfortunately, I got a two-shot burst on it. But it also brought up some interesting results. It seems like the rifle, the Rapid Assault Rifle, does exactly half the damage the Precision Rifle does, taking 28% off after two hits. But we'll get a more formal result here when I place another block. one shot how much damage did I do sitting at 64% and then here's the elite rifle at 58% so looking at all these now you get an idea of the percentage damage you're doing and what rifle you should be using against maybe some of the assertive drones reavers or anything that might be shooting at you the answer to this is pretty simple if you have access to the NATO mags Grab the precision rifle, it does a really good job. You will not have to fire very many rounds out of a second mag. Five rounds out of a second mag will be all you need to fire. Or grab the MR20, it's gonna be more effective than the elite rifle. If you just wanna rapidly spray, that might be a little bit of a different story and then maybe I could warrant the elite rifle, but I would just grab an MR20 or a precision rifle and shoot back with that instead. Preferably again, that precision rifle. If you like using the Rapid Assault Rifle, do not use the standard NATO mag if you happen to get it. Leave those for the other rifles and use the other mag that comes with it because that 50 round mag is going to be a much greater advantage. But if you wanted to know which one I think is the king, it's the Precision Rifle. Less rounds down range, you don't have to expose yourself as often if you're poking and peeking one shot at a time. 35 times? What do you want to do it 60 times? I'd rather do it 35 times. That said, you can use whatever weapon you really want to, whichever one you like. But in my opinion, the key rifle here is that precision rifle. It just does the job way, way better and exposes you way less, especially if you the mouth pretty much. But that is gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to tell your friends. But y'all take care. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.